Okay, so just to finish the session, we're gonna go through some static stretches. Um, a lot of people have used static stretching at the beginning of your session, but there's a lot, obviously a lot of research that shows that dynamic or moving stretches work best at the start with static stretching at the end. So here we're just working on our flexibility and uh, we're gonna go through a little bit of torture. So with this, Ooh. 10 seconds for each stretch. With From zero to 10, I want you to up the intensity as you go. So we're starting off pretty low, but by the time we get to 10, there should be some, some shaking of the ligaments and tendons. All right, so with this first one, we're gonna have leg out straight, and these are all partner stretches. So I'm gonna go through it real quick, and then we'll go through it as a group. So leg out straight, using your knee to trap that leg, pushing the opposite foot into your midsection or into your hand so you can get a bit of force on that one. And we're just slowly pushing the knee towards the midsection. Next one we do, straightening that same leg out, making sure we're still keeping the other leg pinned. We just wanna straighten the leg and use our body to move forward through the count of 10. Then that leg comes over the body, tucking the foot behind the kneecap. We're pushing down on the bent knee and our opposite hand is on the shoulder. For this one, we start off at a ground level, working through and then we wanna come up into a push-up position as we get towards that 10 count. From there, we switch sides, we do the other leg. And then after that, we're gonna go from a seat to a seated position. So just sit yourself up, scoot yourself around. The first one we do, legs out straight in front. And for this one, I want you to try to get your head to your knees, reach towards your toes. If you're struggling, just try to walk your, walk your fingers up your knees all the way towards your toes and get as far as you can. Person behind is just pushing in the back. If you find that someone has really good flexibility, you can really put your body weight behind it. And if that's too easy, again, you can come up to your toes, working through that 10 count. Then we split our legs out wide, as wide as possible for this one, walking our fingers up further and further for the 10 count. Again, giving just a little bit of force on the back. After that one, we bend our feet together just for a butterfly or groin stretch. Now for this one, you're gonna base off the shoulders you're gonna step onto the sides. After you get both feet up, you slowly release the tension on the shoulders so that your weight is pushing through the knees. I did say it was torture. So after this one, we're gonna go down to a uh, stomach position. So just on your stomach. Yep. And the first one we're gonna do is just a half Nelson. So we're, we're scooting through half Nelson. And again, just bring the, the elbow back just slowly. After we've done that one, we're gonna go into a, an arm lock, opening up the chest this time. You can lock it on properly if you wish. <laughs> then we go through the other arm, same thing. And the final stretch is the old iron sheet. Pull the shoulders up into a camel clutch position, face lock around the chin, and just arching back for the 10 count. It's really up to uh, you and your partner communicate, see where they're at in terms of their flexibility. You do tend to feel that little bit of uh, tension or, or a little bit of pain, especially as you get from that six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 count, and then you know you're on the right track. So give it a go, use it at the end of your sessions, and watch your flexibility improve by the week. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs out wide. Same thing again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet together, groin stretch, stepping on the knees. Again, support your weight with their shoulders and just slowly release. You don't have to fully release, even by ten. Okay, feet up, feet up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Well, you made it to the end, but it's not over. If you want to see more videos like that, click on the subscribe button in the top right hand corner, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be a stranger. Comment below.